like they always say that a clear conscience fears no accusation because a yaya Bello is not coming up to come and explain himself and he has been running and hiding i don't understand this kind of a thing has never happened we know that uh, most of these uh, politicians in nigeria they are bold when it comes to corruption they will still come out with their bold faces and come out and say oh i didn't do it i'm not guilty they will invite them to efcc but they will still go we know that at the end of the day nothing will happen but in the case of yaya Bello, it has been a very 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 shocking thing to all nigerians he has taken his own style of a uh, whatever in a new dimension come to efcc come and explain yourself he has all, all, all gone to higher media personnel to be answering all those questions that uh, the efcc has put out there we know that the efcc they, they themselves they are not even doing the right thing and that is why everyone is not even moved or concerned with what they are doing or what nigerians want is results not all this a uh, media trial so since yaya Bello is not coming out he has already created a vacuum for people to be speculating a lot of things the other day we learned that hey, oh he was trying to escape you know disguise with a you know in a women woman uh, attire meanwhile the former kogi state governor yaya Bello has continued to be a victim of fake news following his decision not to submit himself to efcc for interrogation over corruption corruption allegation yaya Bello was recently misrepresented in an altered image with the claim that the former governor was jumping the face to evade arrest okay africa fact checked the claim and discovered that the face of the former governor was superimposed on the image of a former lawmaker who jumped the national assembly gates in 2014. yaya Bello, the former governor of kogi state has been in the news since the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC declared him wanted over his failure to present himself for questioning on a money laundry matter. He created a vacuum. He did create the vacuum. Since the anti-graft agency's announcement, several claims about the immediate past governor of Kogi State, particularly on social media, have been fact-checked. Okay? Recently, a Facebook user Onyuku Oge Ideka shared an image alleging that the former governor was jumping the fence to evade arrest by the EFCC. The image has since been republished by other users on Facebook who made the same allegation. However, Africa Check, a fact-checking organization, fact-checked the picture and established the fact of the matter. Google reverse image search revealed that the image going viral as the former governor has been altered the actual person in the photo was usman chechi okay chechi was a former member of the house of representatives the bida bako kacha federal constituency of niger state in the national assembly between 2011 to 2015. the incident happened in 2014 when some lawmakers at the national assembly including cheche climbed the assembly gates after the police denied them entry Thus, the face of former Governor Yabelo was superimposed on the original photo of Chichi. The EFCC declared Bello a wanted person on Thursday, April 18th. The Nigeria Immigration Service, NIS, and the Department of State Service, GSS, have also placed the former governor on their watch list. Okay. Uh, Yaya Bello, the immediate past governor of police, did not even dress female to flee country and evade arrest. Yes. According to Legit Dos NG, earlier reported that Yaya Bello dressed in female attire. But at the end of the day, after it was being fact checked, it was discovered that uh, it was somebody else. And like I said, he will be everything will be thrown at him until he comes out. Of course, he has already embarrassed himself by not even coming out again. You know, it shows that uh, something is fishy somewhere. And to come and come to think of it. They are in the same party with the ruling government. It's in the same party with the ruling government. Then you begin to what is going on. You begin to ask yourself. After conducting the Google say Google reserve, reverse image search on the image, it turned out to be a manipulated photo of the Jane Namani, the late wife of the former Senate President Ken Namani. Why will they why would they not do that? Because it's running. Because if Yabelo has come out to say, Oh, this is me, you explain, no be Ninja. No be Ninja with the but yes. We are still going to be seeing more of this whole thing. Don't be surprised. Don't be shocked. We are going to be seeing more of this. 
Well, if Eya Belo doesn't have any skeleton in his cupboard, why did he jump fence? Nigeria politicians are all rubes. Maybe majority of them, not all of them. Okay, for the benefits of that, let's give some of them and you know, call them some slack. It is a uh, the reason why we are bringing this news is for you to know that, yeah, he created a vacuum, but all of these things are not true. If Yayabelo had come out, nobody will be talking about, oh, he's running. But the question is that, is Yayabelo running? Yes. Is he hiding? Yes. Is there anything that you think he's hiding? Yes. If not, he would have come out. Yes, Nigeria politicians are too comedian in time of looting money. Thank God that this man wants to escape. Okay, he won't escape. He didn't say sneak, swallow money. A big disgrace to Nigerian youth. The this is House of Representatives. Of course, it's been said there. The fear of ESCC is the beginning of a humbleness. White lion indeed. Okay. Drama, 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 drama. Every time. Yes. Uh, shame on white uh, chicken. It's not a white lion again. <laughs> if he knows his hands, his mind that is innocent, I don't even see any reason for him to be hiding. He's hiding. So everything, everything, every whatever will be thrown at him. That is what uh, that's how it is. Everything will be thrown at him. Do you blame anybody? No, you don't blame anybody. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.